up everybody? Frank Slauson here. Making a video. <laughs> oh, it's so warm outside today. Actually, it's been warm for a while there, but uh, oh, I'm getting kind of sick of this hot weather. I mean, it'd be great if we live by a beach or something like that. Then we could just go take a swim whenever we wanted to, but because it's been so hot and everything. Right? Here in the small little town of Gamers, we're so limited with everything. And, uh, and I know that I'm not, that this ain't the only area that's ever, where it's been warm and everything. I know it's been warm pretty much, uh, uh, pretty much all over the United States. I saw a map of it and everything. And, uh, pretty surprised anyway to know that. But I guess as you can say, welcome to Welcome to summer, you know, that's what it's all about, I guess, you know, being, having it be so warm outside and everything where you can barely think, or you can barely hear yourself, because of loud trucks and everything going by. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, they just got done doing some of the road work over here, you know, the last, well, the beginning of summer I had to, I had to uh, drive, like I... Like where I work at, it's like a 20 mile drive, and I had to, I had to drive, make like a, uh, go the back roads and waste an extra five to 10 miles just to go to work or something. Something that would normally take about close to 20 minutes to get there, end up taking about half an hour. But now they're they're down working on the roads, at least around here anyway, and it looks a little nicer. It took a lot of time though. I mean they. They wasted a good two, three weeks just doing nothing, but whatever. Well, anyway, I want to wish everybody a happy, happy 4th of July weekend, and or a week, and because uh, 4th of July is uh, this Wednesday, and as everybody remembers, uh, well, I remember last year during the 4th of July, I remember the, what the, I can remember exactly what the weather was like. It wasn't so hot. I mean, it was a little hot, but it wasn't nearly as hot as it is now. Or as it well, has been, it's kind of cooled down now. But uh, I remember the big storm that we got last 4th of July. That, that caused a lot of, for the first time that I can remember in a long, long time, that uh, storm that caused a lot of damage. You know, I don't know so much around here, but I do know that mostly close to town and well, I, I made a video about it a while ago, but it was a, that was a video of the second storm that we had, and that was the storm that uh, we had two wind storms that were that were bad that caused multiple damages as far as to, uh, trees and I think a couple of houses got hit, and I believe a couple of people's vehicles in town got kind of destroyed because of of the uh, weather. It was almost like tornado-like winds or whatever. Even though there was no tornado that came, but it damn near felt like it. Everything swaying back and forth, very powerful. Power was out for a long time, and for the first time it was out for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Second time, out pretty much eight hours, eight to nine hours. Yeah, it was some scary stuff, but but other than that, it hasn't, you know, it hasn't happened. We had a little rain today, but it wasn't that like how it was last year, so... I mean, of course, we're not even at the 4th of July yet, so you just don't know. I don't think it's going to be a repeat, but I guess you just never know. Uh, but anyway, uh, I was going to say, yeah, I have, sorry, I haven't really been uh, making a whole lot of videos lately. You know, I've been just kind of taking a break, you know, this summer here, just, I don't know, just randomly just enjoying summertime, I guess, you know, the best that I know how to. The best that I can, but the one good thing that I noticed here that has happened in our family, anyway, besides the fact that I'm an uncle again, because my sister had his baby or had her baby, you know, named Bentley, which I'll show you, you know, photos and all that stuff later on as he gets older and stuff. Right now, he just looks like a little baby, you know, has the old man face and everything, and you know, just slowly developing as all kids do, as as all babies do, or they. Are at that stage. Anyway, uh, our internet actually is a little bit faster now than it was uh, the last time I, well, 
had the last time I uploaded the video a couple weeks ago uh, and I noticed that right away because uh, I have this thing on my well now that I bought my sister's laptop I have this thing on the computer that's a YouTube downloader and I noticed that the, the speed was going up to 180 kilobytes I think kilobytes per second which is almost like I don't know if that's different between one well it's 180 kilobytes I guess per second now compared to 56 kilobytes now all that I know is that like if I download like a Shaytar video or a Fam Dabbly video and most of the time when their vlogs are longer than 15 minutes or whatever it's normally like over 100 megabytes you know I just know that before it would take about 25 30 minutes now it takes less than 10 minutes you know which is a quite the improvement so if that means that Wickstrom finally got their heads out of their asses and finally got high speed internet which is supposed to be really high speed it's still not super fast like like Quest internet or or Showbird's internet but I do know that I've seen the improvements anyway so you know that that definitely says something anyway it's a lot better than it was it doesn't take nearly as long to upload uh, stuff so you'll see more of my things and the better, my video is in better quality now as we go uh, forward in the future, I guess. But, uh, let me go back around here. Just on a simple little, quick little walk as I wanted to make just a quick little video. But, uh, other than that, everything's going good. I'm eventually going to be doing a book review this month. Either this month or next month. I, I uh, that, that Goonie book that I bought, uh, by uh, our author named Mick Alderman, who is a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, he uh, wrote a book called My Three Weeks with the, the Goonies. And I've been slowly reading it here and there. Uh, I've just been so preoccupied with so much other stuff, I haven't uh, had a chance to really finish it yet. But what I'm going to do here soon anyway is, at least before the end of summer, guarantee that I do a book review on it. And then I'm going to see... And this is just uh, maybe something an idea for later on this summer or this fall and see if he and I can do uh, a Skype interview like I've done before. And I know those Skype interviews aren't, well, I find them interesting just because of the people that I've talked to and everything. I mean, the reason why I do that, you know, because I've gotten some questions before of why, uh, why do you do that and everything, uh, because I think it's amazing that Somebody like me, who lives in a sneaky little town like this town here, the Greenbush, uh, can go find a celebrity or somebody who have some type of fame or for some reason, uh, <laughs> and, and, and go ahead and do an interview via Skype. You know, whether the quality is good or not, it still counts as a good video. Why it hasn't gotten more views, I have no idea why. Uh, the last time I did an interview with somebody, it was with the... Uh, Carl Olinsalot uh, from the Fam Dambly, and I figured that video, if he would have, I would have hoping that he would have helped promote the the, uh, the interview a little bit, uh, because there was in two different parts and everything, and, and it, I mean, it got a few views and, it, and whatnot, but not as much as I wanted to, and that's another thing, what the heck's been going on here? You know, the last time I, I checked my YouTube status, like maybe a couple months ago or so, I was at 2,000, almost 2,000 subscribers, and and well, the last time I I just recently checked it, and now I'm at uh, 1,600 subscribers. Does anybody know why that is? Why that? What's happening? I mean, you know, I'm kind of I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm kind of at a crossroads in my little YouTube career here. I don't even know if you can really call it a career go back this way here I don't know if you can really call it a career when you're not getting paid when you're doing everything for free well the whole reason is you're doing it for the love of the work but you know I, I was watching the VidCon videos and all that stuff and I was seeing all these people who are part of the YouTube who are pretty much the YouTube celebrities the ones who who are making the money living the fame do living the good life you know having everything handed to them on a silver platter even, yes, even the Shaytards included, uh, even though I watch them and I, I like them, and I'm not trying to be a hypocrite, but yet, I make a video, and 
nobody seems to want to watch it or whatever. And I don't know why that is. I mean, I, I have these subscribers, 1,600 subscribers, but yet it's like nobody cares that I made a video, you know? It's like, why are you subscribed to me then if you're not going to watch my video and all that stuff, you know? I try to watch as many videos as I can of, of my favorite people. And I realize maybe because of things that have happened in the past and all that, that maybe my fan base isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. And, you know, I, I'm i trying the best that I can to, to make the best quality video. Now, I'm not going to throw a Kyle Rappaport at you and, you know, no pun intended, uh, see if he's paying attention, and, and say that I'm going to leave YouTube because nobody watches my videos. No, that's not, that's not even it. I'm not... I'm not leaving. <laughs> I will never leave. This is something I enjoy doing. I just wish that I could be the next Shane Jensen, the next Cool Duder, the next Shaytards, the next Fam Damley, the next something special. And I guarantee that if I would have, if I would have joined YouTube around the same time that they did, around the same time like like uh, like Shane Jensen and Cool Duder and all that, they joined about 2006. At the time when it was YouTube was just getting started, it wasn't really a social network at the time. It was just a, pretty much where you could just sign up, make some videos, and you know that you, your fan base was going to grow pretty easily because of the fact that there wasn't that many people on there. But now I'm just getting to a point where I'm, you know, in August next month already, I'll be celebrating my four, fourth uh, year on YouTube, my fourth anniversary. And I have a lot to show for it, but yet nobody nobody gives a crap. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to watch the videos. You know, nobody wants to help me get a few views or whatever. You know, I, I get maybe a few, a couple things here. I don't even get any, hardly any comments anymore like I used to. And I was just like, what the hell is going on, you know? I mean, is my, are my videos not the great rendering quality? Or, I mean... Sorry, I don't have a green screen. I'm sorry, I don't have enough people around here in my life where they actually are interested in what I'm doing that can help me out doing videos. You know, uh, I tried the best that I can with with this, and I'm just getting a little sick and tired of trying to come up with some great ideas, but yet I don't. You know, <laughs> I end up only getting like maybe 10 views or 15 views or. Or whatever, I don't, you know, or barely any comments or, or comments from the same people all the time. I'm not trying to, to cry about it and did anything or whatever. I'm just, I'm just a little irritated. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of other people in my situation that thought they could be the next big thing. And, but yet, although they've sacrificed a lot of time, a lot of work, you know, there's a lot of cool videos that I know. Not every video that I've ever put up, you know, has, has been great, but but there's probably at least out of the fo almost 500 that I have, probably at least a hundred to maybe two, maybe around two 200 or so videos that are good, <laughs> that are, that are like uh, classics more or less, but they'll never see the light of day. I'll never get recognized for any of that stuff. I mean, maybe at the time I did. But, like, I'm not, you know, a partner. I'm not really anything, you know. 28-year-old year, year old man that lives with his parents again. <laughs> Apparently makes minimum wage, you know. I mean, I could, see my, I could still see myself doing something at, at VidCon, you know. If I was, if somebody actually recognized me for, if YouTube finally, like, opened the door to me and, and said, Frankie, we love your videos, you know. We want to fly you out to L.A., we want to meet you, and we want to give you a big old great contract or whatever that, uh, <laughs> you know, where you can work for Maker Studios and all that, and, and give us some of your ideas, and we want to help your channel grow, and that would be the greatest thing, but I, I guess I have to be a realist and realize that probably never will happen. As long as YouTube's around, as long as I still have my channel, that'll never happen. I mean, I don't know what it's going to take for me to finally reach that level, you know, my my big thing, and this is where I, I guess I have a right to complain a little bit, because, you know, when I went to Astoria, Oregon, 
and this is my last part of the video here. Uh, when I went to Astoria, Oregon, I made I I made a documentary. You know, as we all know, uh, I should have just waited to put it on the internet. I should have just released it on DVD instead to let people buy it first if they wanted to. Then instead of uh, you know checking it out at the time anyway, but uh, I did that because. I wanted to do it because it was something that I've always wanted to do uh, because I didn't get to do that the last time I went to Astoria, Oregon. I thought, what a great memento to have, you know, to, to know that I went there not only once but twice in my life so far. Uh, and now I have it, you know, filmed, you know, I have it, I mean, I have it, you know, as a memory. It's not just a photo memory, but it's also a video memory that I can go back and take a look at anytime I want. But I wanted to share that with all you guys because I thought this will be the one. This will be the video that will that will set me as a person. That I'll, you know, all the things that I may have done in the past, or the mistakes that I made, or with anybody that I worked with before, whether it be the people from Five Awesome Studs, you know, hate me because you know. I just, they didn't think that I cared enough or whatever, thought I was a bad leader or whatever. To anybody who ever looked at me as somebody who was like a, a greedy person because of what happened last year, uh, because I decided to just uh, to come back here and live with mom and dad, even though I had people that helped me out with, with money and everything because I, you know, I was just kind of reaching out to, to the people online and see if there's anybody that actually cares enough, you know, and there were, I mean, there were, I mean, I made, God, I almost made about three, 300 bucks, you know, and I, and I, you know, definitely do appreciate, you know, all the people that helped me out with that, but there's a lot of things that people remember and that they'll never forget and that they, you know, or that they'll just never grow up from, uh, realizing that this is just the internet and it's not like we're meeting in real life or whatever and Although that could have happened, but when I went to Astoria, Oregon, I, I wanted this that that documentary movie to be the, the pinnacle of why I do what I do, and to see it just sitting there, just sitting in the dust. But if Shay Carl or somebody or Cool Dude or, or even Wet Movie would have went to Astoria, Oregon, and did the exact same thing that I did, and went to the same places that I did. Their views would be skyrocketed, you know, off the charts, you know, off the, the, you know, just, you know, they, they'd, they'd be in the, probably the, the, the six to seven thousand view mark right, right now. So I can't even get over 200 views on one of the videos, you know. Uh, being the only YouTuber to ever do a DVD update, you know, from the Goonie House. I mean, that should have been something, but it never was. But, I mean, I'm proud of it, and I always will be, but I'm just getting a little paranoid, or, or more or less pissed off, because I got some good stuff, and I'm, I'm like, treated like a rookie almost, you know? Like, I'm, I'll always be, like, somebody that will never get recognized for the work that I do. So, maybe that's why I take these little breaks for, you know, why I don't upload all the time. Maybe I'm losing interest, you know, maybe it's not as fun as it used to be in the beginning because I thought in the beginning that this would be the way out, so to speak, you know, but I don't know. We're getting close to 500 videos and, and you know, I'm not leaving, but if things don't start straightening out, you know, this could probably be the end of the Frankie Slauson show. Um, it's it's all up to you guys, as well as it is up to me, to come up with some great ideas for videos and stuff. But, I don't know. I just think it's time to, to get recognized. And I'm sick and tired of just lying, being, lying in the dust. Especially when I've done a lot. A lot that I'm proud of. But anyway, other than that, hope you guys have a great 4th of July. And, uh, yeah, if you guys feel the same way like I do, you know, feel free to leave a video response and... You know, let me know how you feel about, you know, the YouTube and how you feel like about just being a, if you're in it for the pinnacle of success or you're just in it just for the heck of it or, or why you do what you do or, 
or whatever. Just let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.